What up, people? Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. Time again for another break. We're going to be doing 2017 playoff football half case number 14. eBay style. Let's get to it. All right, I got the case here. I need to open it up first. I'm only going to do a half case of this, which is 10 boxes. Thing. What up, T. Garl? Here for the biscuits. Let's let's make it happen, Captain. All right, there's that. Pick ten boxes. Well, I just picked the top ten boxes. Half the case. Looking at one auto and relic per box in this deal. Let's get you something nice to the peeps. And uh, as always, good luck, everybody. There we go. All right. Good luck, peeps. I already see I got some Saints requests. I got a Bears request. Who else is up in this break? Man, Chris wants some Jags. Make those requests, people. Speak it into existence. Well, break your addiction. If you want to get the $15 off coupon, uh, it's only good at RipCityCards.com. You cannot use it for eBay breaks, all right? And if you're still interested, you go to RipCityCards.com, click Login at the top right of the screen, then click Register, fill all that information out, and then we'll automatically email you the uh, $15 gift code. Well, there you go, uh, T. Garl. Let's see if we can get you... Get you something good here, baby. Sounds good, Breaker Addiction. Check our website out. You might like uh, might like something. We already got plates and patches up on the, uh, on our website. It is a uh, full case break. Not a half caser, a full caser. 12 boxes in a case of plates and patches. That product releases tomorrow. And I already have teams listed on there. Yep, and I also got Flawless Baseball, too. And uh, with Flawless Baseball, I got a little bit of a, little of a promo going where if you buy into that break and you don't get a hit, meaning you don't get an autograph, a relic, or a numbered card in Flawless Baseball, I throw you in a random where you get a chance to win either $100 in break credit or 10 silver packs uh, from the Series 1 Baseball that recently came out. Uh, and those silver packs are selling roughly for about ten dollars on eBay, so it's um, basically giving away two hundred bucks, is what I'm trying to say. But we need all teams to fill. We need all teams to be sold. Better said, before we can rip that flawless baseball. All right, we got Navarro Bowman of the Niners to forty nine. This is a patch here to 99 Aaron Rodgers of the Packers. That's the wrong one. Uh, T. Girl, I'm not exactly sure I know what you're saying. Uh, I believe the veteran base is its own spot in this break. Um, so what do you mean? Veteran base does not ship, but what about retired legends? Yeah, that's the same thing. Uh, veterans, retired players, legends, those 
uh, unless they're inserts or numbered or autographed or relics they don't get shipped to you they would go to the veteran spot uh, Zay Jones to the bill so let's see uh, T Garl I'm not sure what team you got but let's say you got the Dolphins right you would get all Dolphins rookies uh, inserts numbered cards uh, autographs patches but the veterans do not those go to the, the veteran spot What it do, uh, Matt B? All right, for the Texans, we have Dante Foreman to 199, the auto. First auto here. How's everything with you, Matt? Haven't seen you around in a little while, bro. Where you been at? Tough to hit in this stuff. David Johnson to 299 for the Cardinals. in this box that's one box done well we do uh we looking to get some NT football when it comes out uh, right now though what I have in the store I got plates and patches football that comes out tomorrow so I do got the pre-sale going and I also have flawless baseball in the store where if you go hit list, you either get 10 silver packs for the top series one that just came out, which are selling for about $10 a pack on eBay, or you win $100 break credit. A little, hit, a little hit protection on that break. A little condom, if you will. I don't know too many breakers that do things like that, like like hitless protection. So if you any, if you know anybody interested in some flawless baseball, direct them here. packs to open up per box but not that big a deal could be worse could be series one that stuff takes forever to break all right to 99 Deshaun Hall Panthers So 189 for the Saints, Alvin Kamara. It's a big time auto right there. Very nice. I could look it up, Matt B. But you know, I'm busy right now. I don't know the, the release date off the top of my head. Uh, but go to group go to what's the website? Blowoutcards.com has a, a release calendar if you want to check that website out. And they'll tell you. Derek Carter 99 for the Raiders with a patch. That website is uh, blowoutcards.com. Julio Jones to 99 for the Falcons. Got to got to get our football uh, you know needs somehow, right? Football season is over. Leonard Williams of the Jets to 299. 
What else we got? Steve Young Niners to 25. March 21st. That's like uh, right around the corner. You know, that's like six weeks from now. Gotta save up that moolah, Matt B. Are you into basketball at all, Matt? Because that's where the hotness is gonna be, really. The basketball draft class is ridiculous. The the NFL class was pretty decent. Don't get me wrong, very solid. But the the NBA is just on another level. Well, flawless is still at 15 spots. Last I checked, Kyle. Kyle D. I got uh my man, my other man, my other Kyle picked up some spots in in. Plates and patches, though. Picked up the Bucks and the Steelers. So they're gone now. Uh, hopefully they come in and they get that uh, flawless breaker because I want to get that out of here. You know, I'm giving away $100 when that fills in break credit. If you go hitless, you get a shot at the $100 break credit. Or you get to win uh, the silver packs I'm giving away, too. There you go, Skeeter. Matt B is a football man, gotcha. So what are you going to do now that football's over? If you watch college football, and of course you watch college football if you like football. That's not going to be back until, what, like September? So we're going to be without football for a while. So do you, like, not watch TV now? You do not watch Sports Center now? Basketball's going on right now. Spring training's gonna start very soon. What up, Andrew? How about them Dolphins? I mean, Eagles. Well, what, what's your team, Blazing? Michael. Michael, is that you, uh, Breaker Addiction? Is your name Michael? Someone picked up the Browns and the Bills in uh, plates and patches. That product comes out tomorrow. That's you, Breaker Addiction. Well, for you, I got two words for you. Mud Hammer! Jason's doing well. Uh, he's actually going to be on tomorrow. Uh, I will be back on Sunday. So Jason's going to be streaming tomorrow and on Saturday. Which means I get to work All-Star Weekend. Yay. To 299 Vic Beasley Jr. of the Falcons. You guys, you guys need to start watching basketball now. Football's over. I mean, even though we're still getting our football fix here. To 299 Jim Plunkett of the Raiders. Well, Breaker Addiction, I won't, but my partner will. He has way better powers than I do. I'm the Cardboard Moses. He's the Cardboard Jesus. You know, in the hierarchy, he, he is leaps and bounds above me. Jabril Peppers to 99 for the Browns. Well, I did get you the Alvin Kamara, which is a big-time card. Offensive Rookie of the Year right there. So that's hashtag muy bueno. Ski. 
excuse me, to 49. Jarvis Landry, Dolphins. He might be leaving. Dolphins organization is just a hot mess. Numbered 7 out of 10, Jerry Rice for the Niners. Blazer Breaks, dude, no, no worries. No worries at all. Check that out. For the Niners, number 10 out of 30, Charles Haley. The autograph. There you go. Nothing there. Might as well get rid of of uh, of Randy Landry too. You think, fanatic? I hope not, because that's one of the few good pieces we got. But I mean, listen, we got JJ. He won a Super Bowl. We might as well get rid of a Landry too, right? If we're cleaning the house, we better get rid of Tannehill if that's the case. But Jason's doing well, man. Like I said, he will be back again tomorrow. He'll be streaming tomorrow and for, uh, Saturday. Um, hasn't had the kid just yet. I believe she's due. Uh, I think she's like another two, three weeks away from being due. And then CBJ's life is going to change forever. Uh, Matt B, yeah, we do. We do. Check out our uh, our, our eBay uh, store, if you will. Uh, I believe I have the link for it here. No, that's not what I want to do. God dang it. So if you want to check out our store, Matt B, there it is. I can only imagine. My thing, though, Dolphin Fanatic, is... He's having a girl, and I've spoken to the, to him on many occasions about that. About, like, having a girl. And I, I, I would lose my mind. Yeah, Dolphins definitely suck. Jarvis Landry, from what I hear, he feels disrespected with the contract uh, negotiations. You know, Dolphins are notorious cheapskates. And when we do spend money, we spend money on ridiculous players. But we shall, we shall see. It, it starts with the, uh, with the draft, really. I would, I would, man, we gotta do whatever we gotta do to keep Landry. That guy's a beast. Imagine if Landry goes to, like, the Eagles or something. That would be crazy sick. I thought we had the 11th pick, uh, Dolphin Fanatic. At least that's what the mock drafts say. The, the one I seen, anyway, like a couple days ago. Everybody got us picking some kind of lineman in the first round. Which is uh, right, right on par with what we do. I'm hoping we can trade up in the draft, man. The Browns have the first and fourth pick. They want to draft a quarterback. In my opinion, they don't need to draft a quarterback. They are they drafted Kaiser last year. They, they need to give him a chance. And get him a weapon, man. Draft Saquon Barkley or, you know what I mean? Draft some offensive weapons. Surround, surround the quarterback that you have right now. And if it doesn't work, you're probably going to be in the lottery again next year. So then draft the quarterback, but like, they got to give that Kaiser kid a chance, man. That's what, that's the problem with some of these teams is they, they want instant gratification. They want everybody to be like a Brady, everybody to, you know, get a seventh round pick and turn him into a Hall of Fame quarterback. No, like, you know, you got to coach these guys up, man. You They got to fail. They got to go through the process, man. You got to trust the process, you know. 
It's like they, they need coaching. Kaiser Kaiser would be Kaiser will be good in the league. It may not be for the Browns, but he's going to be good in the league. You just got to develop him, man. Yeah, Peyton was pretty garbage when he first started. And look at him now. To 149, Curtis Samuel, patch for the Panthers. Eagles got a nice uh, problem with Wentz and Foles. Jamal Adams, Jets to 199. So what do you think, Dolphin Fanatic? Should we draft the quarterback in the first round, the Dolphins? I think uh, we definitely need to draft the quarterback in the first round. Regardless of whether we make a trade for, for one or not. Or if we sign someone in the else, we're guard, whatever. We need to draft a quarterback in the first round. And I want Baker Mayfield. Foles going to Arizona. I wouldn't mind seeing that. That would be kind of decent. All right, battery fully charged. Apparently that kills your battery faster if you keep it charging. Why would the Eagles want to trade Foles to get something in return for him? I don't know, man. If I were the Eagles, I would keep Nick Foles, honestly. Because you don't know what's going to happen with Wentz. Mm. Sorry, people. Wentz isn't health. I agree, Jake. I agree with you, man. But, you know, we don't know what's going on with Jake Wentz, or with Jake Wentz. Wow. We don't know what's going on with Carson, really. So, for all we know right now, he's probably, he's, what if he's straight? What if he's good? You know what I mean? Then what do you do? You're going to keep a starter caliber quarterback, a Super Bowl winning quarterback, riding, your, riding the pine? When uh, he's more valuable to you, for, you know, maybe trading him for some draft picks or maybe, you know, a stud on defense or, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, a, lot of, it's a lot of possibilities there. But if, you, if they are going to move Foles, now is the time to do it. While, while they're still on that Super Bowl high and everybody, you know, thinks he could be a franchise quarterback for their team or whatever. I mean, the guy played out of out of his mind in the playoffs, especially in the Super Bowl. That guy was making some amazing throws. And he, you know, he did, ex you know, he, 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 he gave the receivers a chance, which is all you can ask for as a quarterback. His placement was, was impeccable. That one t uh, interception he had wasn't his fault. Alshon Jeffrey tried to make a catch. Couldn't do it. You think the Finns need Foles? Man, the Finns need a lot, bro. Finns need Nick Foles. We need pro. We need a lot. I mean, we were solid defensively last year. But, man, we, we couldn't keep our defense off the field, man. Our offense was just terrible. I do like our pieces, though. Towards the end of the year, Kenyon Drake was running that ball like it was nobody's business. So we'll see. We'll see. We definitely need a quarterback, though. We need to cut Ryan Tannehill. And we need to do it ASAP. We didn't do it last year. We need to do it this year. I give that guy one more year. And I say it every year. I am not a fan of Ryan Tannehill. I don't know what ownership or, or the coaching uh, team sees in him. Whatever they see, they need to get their prescription fixed because the, the guy sucks. I'm sorry. Deshaun Watson to 99 for the Texans. I'd rather have Tim Tebow at quarterback, and that guy's terrible. Oh, but he led the Broncos to the playoffs. Psst. Psst. 
Oops. You mean that defense? Tim Tebow's like a, a running back that plays quarterback. I'm also just really not a fan of the guy. Tevin Coleman to 99 for the Falcons. The little patch right there. Well, listen, there's another thing you got to consider with RG3 was RG3 played hurt, man. RG3 was playing hurt. A lot of people don't, you know, they, they choose to, to, to conveniently forget that, that the kid was playing hurt, man. He came back from that injury prematurely, and he just, he just made it way worse and pretty much sealed the deal on his career. So that's why I'm saying they need to keep Nick Foles. Let Carson recuperate, you know, completely, entirely. You know, don't rush him back because, you you know, it's the playoffs and whatever. Blah, no, fuck that. So they, they got to keep uh, Big Dick Nick. And I think, man, I think the, the Eagles might be here to stay. The way they played against the Patriots, you know, usually with a team that goes against the Patriots... The Patriots usually just out coach them, out out execute them. But you know, anytime the Patriots did something, the Eagles had an answer. And for whatever the whatever the Eagles, I mean, uh, whatever the Patriots threw at the Eagles, the Eagles could throw it right back. And their quarterback can catch the ball. That's going to be a meme for a long time. I hope Tom Brady knows that that is... If he never wins another Super Bowl again, are we really going to remember Tom Brady as the GOAT or are we going to remember him as the guy who couldn't catch the football? That's how I'm going to remember him. But that's because I hate the Tom Brady and the Patriots. Alright, just check the store. Nothing moving. Come on, guys. Let's get some flawless baseball going. Box number six. Here we go. Baker Mayfield could potentially be the next Drew Brees. I saw somebody put that in the chat anyway, which remains to be seen. Well, that's that's good praise. That's a nice comparison. Chamber made it at two ninety nine for the Redskins. What I really like about Baker Mayfield is the kid just he says the right things. And he's competitive, man. The guy's fiery. I want my quarterback to be the most competitive guy on the field every single time. We got Deshaun Waltz into 49 for the Texans. What a season he was having. Hope he comes back and kills it. So 49, Gerald Everett Rams. <sighs> Excuse me. What do we have here? Another one? A second Alvin Kamara for the Saints. That's the offensive rookie of the year. That's a nice card. And now you got two of them? Shit. When it rains, it pours. 25 Deion Sanders of the Cowboys. What else we got? Ty 
to 99, Peyton Manning of the Colts. What do we got? All right, that's it for that. I'm trying to, girl. That's you know this this stuff is putting me to sleep, man. I need I need something major here. I need something uh, to electrify me. Skeeter's killing it though. Skeeter got a, a couple album Kamara Auto, so he's happy. That aside, it's been a bit of. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty, here we go. Let's see what's in this batch. You got Navarro Bowman. I'm sorry, Matt Breda to for uh, to two ninety nine for the Niners. There you go. You got a biscuit book in limited. Shit, that is nice. I would have played the lottery like right after. To ninety nine, the flea flicker insert for the Giants. T. Garl, what team you got again? Let's see if we can uh, get some mojo going here for you. For the Jaguars, the 149, Leonard Fournette, the patch. Come on. There you go. We got here for the Browns, Jabril Peppers. To 199, the Bears, the Bears. All right, let's uh, let's put these mystical cardboard powers to use here. I'm gonna get you a biscuit in one of those three boxes. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Ray Guy to 299 for the Raiders. Isn't he like the only punter in the Hall of Fame? Anyways, what else we have? To 99, Aqib Tlaib of the Broncos. Three boxes left. All right. All right. I thought my nails were that long. Check the store here. See what we got. Come on, man. People, show the store some love. 15 teams left in Flawless Baseball. Come on now. Nothing there. So, T-Girl, question. You think the Bears uh, got a quarterback in the biscuit? You know, I don't watch much Bears football, really, but... I got another one who's a really big fan of the Bears, and he tells me that the Biscuit's going to be the future for the franchise quarterback. What do you think? Go 
I see the goats. <sighs> all, all, this, all these packs make me make me bored. That'll probably be addressed this year in the draft. Get you uh get you some receivers. Maybe a running back that can catch the ball. Bears probably also need to protect their quarterback too. I agree, breaker addiction. You know, especially coming from a guy who's who's had his team draft O lineman every year for like the past four, five years. Our, our O line is okay now. Now we just need a quarterback. I really like Tariq Cohen. I heard Adam Shaheen was nice. Kevin White, I guess, is a bust. Need some receivers. Paul Hornung to 299 for the Packers there. To 299, TJ Watt. Steelers. What do we have here? Kevin White needs to disappear. I thought he did. Is he still in the league? I thought he got like expelled or something. To 149, John Ross the third for the Bengals. Like this guy, he had the fastest time in the NFL, and then he disappeared too. Like I, I, I don't even know if he had a single snap last year on offense or whatever. Special teams or anything, and I didn't even hear anything for that kid. To ninety nine, Steve Grogan, Patriots. Dude ran a four two two forty at the at the combine. Never heard from him again. To forty nine, Cam Newton, Greg Olson, Jonathan Stewart for the Panthers. For the Broncos, Carlos Henderson, number 20 out of 25, the auto. What else we got in here? Some one-on-one -on -one mojo would be nice to wake me and everybody else up. Because this is a boring right now. It's a boring. Two boxes left. Here we go. Yeah, breaker for sure. I mean, I can't play music while I do the break, though. Because then I won't be able to upload it to YouTube. I, th I think they mute the audio. Or just completely don't let you put the video up at all. Either way, not good. I don't know, maybe I'll play some Beethoven or some shit in the background. Something, something where I, I won't get sued. There's got to be the, what's it called? Damn it. Hmm. <sighs> 
Public domain. It has to be public domain. Some elevator music, exactly. I don't know. That was just random elevator, elevator music I came up with. Uh, Jameis, famous Jameis. To 299 for the Buccaneers. Nothing here. To twenty five, Kareem Hunt of the Chiefs. I wonder what's public domain right now. After a certain amount of time, you can just start using shit. For the free, it becomes public domain. For the Niners, George Kittle, 289, he ain't public domain just yet. That's only for the Niners right there. Alright. What else we got? What is this? What is this? Jarvis Landry again with a napkin to 199 for the Dolphins. I hope he doesn't leave. That's my guy right there. I don't own a Dolphins jersey. If I did, it would be a Landry jersey. David Johnson to 189 for the Cardinals. Speaking of jerseys, those new Miami Heat Vice City jerseys now with Dwayne Wade available for them are going to be the hottest. That dude might just have the highest selling jersey in the NBA. Once he debuts that Vice City jersey, and I'm predicting it, he's going to play tomorrow for us and he's going to fucking ball out. He might put up 30-something points. He may not play the next game, you know, because we want to keep him fresh. But he's going to ball out when he comes off. I want him to come off the bench. And I think he's going to ball out. Re-energize. Back in Miami. I know the home crowd is going to shower him with love and adoration. I'm going to cry. For sure I'm going to cry. D-Wade's going to cry. Gabrielle Union's going to cry. Everybody, everybody in Miami is going to be shedding tears of pure unbridled joy and happiness. You don't understand how happy I am Dwayne Wade is back in the Heat uniform. Seriously. I am so happy. The man responsible for bringing every championship we have to this city. Because everybody knows, fuck the Marlins. Marlins treat us like shit. No fan service at all. All they care about is making money. While the Heat, all they care about is winning at any cost. Maybe we, hit, maybe Pat Riley should be in charge of football operations for the Dolphins. Can't do any worse than what we're doing right now. Say that. All right, last box mojo. Need some hotness. Bears had a request. Jags had a request. Chiefs had a request. Let's get something hot going here. I'm gonna take my time. She gonna get hers before I. All right, let's see what I got here. Good luck, people. All righty. Fran Tarkenton to ninety nine for the Vikings.
Christian McCaffrey to 49, Panthers. Mm. What do we have here? For the Bills, 39, LaShawn McCoy with a patch for the Bills. What do we have here? Come on. To one eighty nine for the Bills, LaShawn McCoy. And then the last stack. Our last auto is for Taco Charlton. One of one, though. That is nice. There you go, Cowboys. Hitting a one of one. Taco Charlton. There you go. Nice. Sorry, Bears, Chiefs, Jags, and everyone else that went hitless in this stuff. We'll get you in the next one, though. Keep hope alive, baby. Keep hope alive. Now, let's go ahead and do the recap here. So, we got Kiddo Niners, Henderson Broncos, Peppers Browns. We have, count them, not one, but two Alvin Kamaras, both numbered to 199 for the Saints. Joshua Dobbs to 25, Jamal Adams Jets to 189. Charles Haley to 30 for the Niners. Dante Foreman to 199 for the Texans. And Taco Charlton, one of one for the Cowboys. And that was the break, you guys. Thank you very much. 2017 playoff football, half case number four, eBay style. We'll get that right out to you.